this is what's up 290 and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use Tails from your computer. Tails is a computer operating system that enables you to be anonymous on the internet by sending all of your communications through the Tor network. The Tor network is a, is a network of servers that, per, that hide your IP address when you use them and also prevent your ISP from learning what you're doing. And this is a good operating system for bypassing web censorship as well. So what you're going to want to do is install VirtualBox. This will only work with VirtualBox, so keep that in mind right now. Then create new when then once you've got VirtualBox up and running, uh, the link to get VirtualBox will be in the description. You want to open, click new, and then just and then. Set name the uh, virtual machine Tails. Well, you can actually name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it Tails. For the type of operating system, click Other, and then Linux. Then for this type, Other Linux 64-bit. Then you want to get you have to give it at least one gig of one gigabyte of RAM. I'm going to give it go ahead and give it about six gig gigabytes. What you want to do is here is click click create click do not add a virtual hard disk and this will not create a hard drive for the virtual machine because you don't want to do that yet. By the way, written versions of the instructions, which is here, will be in the link that below. In the description below. Click continue. Then once you've got this, you just want to Go to select the, the, the new virtual machine. Click settings. Then go to then go to storage down here. Con controller IDE. Then click empty and click the CD icon. Then you're gonna then click choose virtual optical disk file, and this is where you will choose your tails.iso to ins to install tails. Then just then check this option here, and then click OK. Then just click. Then just we're gonna want to start the virtual machine now, and this will run Tails. Just gonna let it do its thing here. And it might take a minute to boot up, so just let it do its thing. I'm gonna put it in full screen. Then when it comes to this, you wanna click yes on more options, then click forward. Now here's where you'll set the uh, pa administrator password for your Tails virtual machine. So set your administrator password to something no one would guess, but that you can easily remember. Now just come down here to these two options. This computer's internet connection is clear of obstacles. I would like to connect directly to, to the Tor network. So basically, if you don't have any firewalls or anything on your net or proxy servers or anything, and you're not connected to an ISP that blocks access to the Tor network, then click the then just check this one and click log in. And now what you're going to want, whereas uh, if you're on a proxy network, on a network that has a proxy or on a network where the Tor network's block or, blocked or something, you want to come check this one and click log in. And I'll show you this just to... I'll show you that uh, configuration option just to show you guys what to do. So as I said before, um, which it'll come up with this window that I'll say that I'll say which of the following best describes your situation, and I would like to make a direct connection to the Tor network. This will probably clicking connect here will probably work, 
Um, just like if you're not like on, as I said before, if the Tor network isn't blocked on your network or your, by, by your ISP or like you don't have any proxy servers or firewalls on your network, just click connect and it'll load. Whereas if you do have like a firewall or your ISP blocks Tor or something, or like you have a, or like you have a proxy server, click configure, and then if your ISP blocks Tor, then uh, just click click yes here, click next, and if they don't block Tor, just click no. But I'll show you what to do if Tor's blocked on your I Tor's blocked by on your on your ISP. So, what you're gonna want to do is just get bridges. Bridges are basically object are basically hidden connections to the Tor network that Tor uses to allow people to access Tor in areas where it's been blocked. And basically, what you have to do is send an email to them and uh, send an email to from a, either Gmail or Yahoo Mail account. Just send an email to bridges at torproject.org that that says get bridges. And then just input the bridges here and then click next and then it'll connect via the bridge and you should be able to use Tor and Tails even if your ISP or network administrators have blocked it. So I'm just going to click Tor's not blocked on my ISP so I'm just going to click back, click no. And then does this computer use a proxy to access the internet? If you don't have a proxy server on your network just click connect. Whereas if you do, you just want to click yes here and then input your proxy server information. But I don't have a proxy server, so just click, n if you don't, just click no and click connect. And it'll connect to the Tor network. And everything on this operating system is forced to go through the Tor network, hiding the IP address. and also unblocking all the websites that are blocked by your ISP or whatever. So I'm here now and it has almost kind of a Mac OS X ish uh, layout. If you click on home it'll bring up your finder and Then you can uh, um, browse the files that are on your Tails uh, virtual that are on your Tails operating system that you've downloaded, and that yeah, so it just kind of works like Mac OS X in that regard. If you click on Tails documentation, then that'll sort of bring up information about the operating system right here and everything is done through Tor as I said so let's check out some of the applications um, if you go to applications up here you can uh, they have a whole bunch of applications built right in and then once you if you go to favorites you have Tor browser iStub Pigeon Internet Messenger, which is just a, which is pretty much an anonymous instant messaging service, and you know they've got calculator and all this. Bit, they've got Bitcoin Wallet, and all that. So, and then if you want to program it, do programming for Poedit, just go go to this Poedit program. And then just click on, then where's the browser the internet? You just click on go to Tor browser and you can pretty much browse the entire internet and it's all done through Tor. So it's if you want an operating system that's completely private and anonymous and it keeps everyone out of what you're doing, then this is 
then Tails is for you. So I'll have the link to download everything in the description. You can do this method of running Tails will work on Mac, Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. There is another method of installing Tails that that requires a USB drive, but that method will only work on Windows and it's a lot more complicated to do. Another thing that you can do with this is you can access the Deep Web. Um, basically, if you don't know what Deep Web is, it's the all the websites that you can't access through Google or through a normal operating system or web browser, but you have to be using Tor and able to access them. So I will, but keep in mind before we do this, there's a lot of really bad stuff on Deep Web, illegal stuff on Deep Web. Deep Web itself is not illegal, but there's a lot of really, really bad stuff on it. So keep that in mind before visiting, visiting it. So what you're going to want to, so to access the Deep Web, what you're going to want to do is open the Tor browser. Then in the Tor browser window, just type in hidden wiki dot onion link. Then just click here. And from here you can access a whole bunch of different uh, a whole bunch of different uh, deep web websites. Dot onion websites, which are websites that only Tor browser can access. So yeah. And then just come to this come to the hidden wiki, hiddenwiki.org, and then just click on any one of these websites you want to visit. So as I said before, there's a lot of really bad stuff, and so, yeah, check, but you, but you can do all this, but keep, so go on a deep web at your own risk. And by the way, if you're curious, what'll happen is if you, if you try to go to the one of these websites in like Google Chrome or Firefox, It'll just come up with like a website not found error message. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.